guys, this is Leanne. This is my January 2019 vlog. In this vlog, I'm going to compare my resolutions from five years ago and today. So if you scroll to the very, very bottom of my Instagram, you'll see that there's posts that say, that says resolutions 2014. And I actually shared my resolutions uh, back then. And they included number one, uh, approach every situation calmly and lightheartedly. Number two, strive to empathize, do not think ill or speak ill of anyone. Number three, adjust your own attitude rather than expecting others to change. So I think these resolutions are so cute. Um, they definitely wouldn't be my resolutions now, but I think they're, they're very nice resolutions. They wouldn't be my resolutions now because number one, approach every situation calmly. I think I'm a little too calm now. Like I feel like if somebody walked up to me and punched me in the face, I'd be like, oh, hello to you too. Um, yeah, I'm like very passive now. Uh, number two, strive to empathize. Do not think ill or speak ill of anyone. So I was so ambitious. I didn't even allow myself to think ill of people. I think speaking ill, you know, I think I could stop myself from speaking ill of people, but thinking, that's asking for a lot. <laughs> Number three, adjust your own attitude rather than expecting others to change. So this I actually remember, I think I was in like second year university and I was still kind of getting into arguments with my parents and I was like really trying to bring it in and I was telling myself, you know, uh, mom and dad aren't going to change. If you want to better your relationships, you need to be the one that changes. Uh, this year, I made three resolutions uh, once again, and they include number one, drink less bubble tea, limit myself to bubble pearls once a week, only add fresh milk rather than powdered. So I do kind of have a little bit of a bubble tea problem. Um, I tutor students, so whenever I have a break in between my students, I usually go to a bubble tea store and just grab a bubble tea because this sounds bad, but I consider it like hydration and a meal. Um, but yeah, the pearls are not great and powdered milk isn't great. So I'm trying to cut back. Number two, drive slower and not distracted. Obey speed limits and always leave the house five to 10 minutes earlier than usual. So at the beginning of 2018, when I first got my new car, I was a really slow driver. Um, and I really paid attention to like fuel economy and not starting my car too fast and everything. But then as the year progressed, I just left my house later and later and left me like a shorter, shorter time on the road and I'd be so stressed out driving. really don't like that, so I'm going to try to leave earlier. And also, somebody told me that eating while driving is distracted driving and I could get a ticket for that. And I do frequently eat and drive, um, so I am going to stop doing that. And my third resolution is like a list of non-negotiables. So it's a list of things that I want to do every day because I feel like if I can maintain um, these habits, then at the end of the year, it would make a significant like improvement to my life. Um, so the list includes number one, squatting while brushing my teeth. So, you know, if you brush my teeth twice a day for 365 days a year, I think that my bum can also end up looking much better as well. Uh, number two, meditating for 10 minutes a day. Number three, writing down three things that I'm grateful for per day. So I really enjoy doing this one. It makes me a much happier person. Um, number four, doing a 20 minute workout per day. And number five, doing 20 minutes of reading at night. So it kind of sounds like five New Year's resolutions in one, um, but these are just little habits that I'm trying to build. Um, yeah, so when January comes around every single year, I think I can transform myself into somebody new. These are my resolutions this year as compared to five years ago.